Hello everyone, it's Lindsay. Today is a Saturday and we have a very fun day planned. We are going to a garden center. I don't really know what to call it. Throughout fall, they have this ginormous fall harvest fest. They have like little playgrounds set up and then they have like animals over there that they bring in throughout the season. They have like exotic animals. I remember seeing a black bear. They bring in goats, giraffes, all sorts of animals. And then like you can pick out your pumpkin and stuff like that. So it's really, really fun. It's a place called Gobert's here in Illinois. Right now I wanted to clean my makeup brushes, which I feel like is really random place to start this video. This morning, Jordan and I did a lot of cleaning of the apartment. It was absolutely disgusting. Like the floors were so dirty. So we got to sweep that and mop it. I took a shower already, so I am just getting ready. Um, but I wanted to go and clean my makeup brushes. And I thought it'd be really interesting to show you guys because I got one of these like makeup brush Cleaners. Oh my gosh, why is it so yellow? Eek. Okay, so I fixed the lighting so it doesn't look as yellow. I got this like makeup brush cleaner for Christmas. My goodness, so long ago. And I always keep forgetting that I have it. And I really wanted to try it out. So it is the Zoe Isla electronic makeup brush cleaner and dryer, which will be very interesting. So I'm going to test it out here are all makeup my makeup brushes so yeah i thought it'd be fun to show you guys so the first step is that i have to fill this bowl halfway the bowl has been filled up halfway next i have to pick the correct brush holder size and then i have to attach it to this electric spindle that i have here start off with a big brush this very dirty blush brush so I think it'll fit, uh oh, I don't know if it'll fit in any one of these, maybe this one. Okay, it looks like it'll fit into this one. So I'm going to try that one out and then I have to attach it to this spindle over here. So it has like a hole, like a triangle shaped hole at the bottom. Sorry if it's really hard to see, um, but I'm going to attach it to this. So then I have to put the brush in here and then let it spin for about 15 seconds and then i spin it again at like the top edges up here and then it'll dry the only thing is that i didn't put the soap in there i'm just gonna add in the real techniques brush cleaner which i really really like it's much cheaper than the beauty blender cleanser which i also really really love but this one is a good alternative now we are going to test it out oh i thought that would be a lot faster that was very anticlimactic can it go faster okay wait okay so i tried drying it for 30 seconds and it does not seem dry like at all it's still very wet and i don't know if i maybe dipped it into the water for too much but it also doesn't feel as clean which is really frustrating so i'm going to try doing it again yeah this is kind of a fail i'm just going to get that clean again because this does not feel clean like at all i want to try it with maybe a smaller brush Hold on. So I'll try it again with a smaller brush. This one is the Zoeva uh, bronzer brush. Let it spin in here for about like, wait, why is this one quicker? What the heck? Okay. Wait, what? One. Whoa. Okay, so that actually worked. What the heck did I do differently? Like this is completely cleaned and dried now. This one, same thing, like completely dry. This is crazy. The only thing is that because this spins so fast, I feel like my hands are like vibrating right now and 
I don't really like that. So I think I am going to start making lunch right now. Cammy is still asleep, but I'm just gonna be making chicken fried rice. I normally just get a bag of like frozen chicken fried rice and then I fry it up. So here is my lunch. I know it's kind of very random, but I have the chicken fried rice here and then I have cabbage on the side because we just have like leftover cabbage and Jordan doesn't really like eating it. So I'm just trying to finish it off before it goes bad. Honestly, I probably could have just put the cabbage in the rice while it was frying, but I just wanted something refreshing on the side. And then I'm gonna eat that and watch Great British Bake Off. We are on our way to Gobert's. I was trying to describe what Gobert's is. What is it? Pumpkin patch. It's not really a pumpkin patch though. It's farm. like, is it a farm? Yeah, Gobert's Farms. Oh, I, I was calling they it- they sell vegetables in the spring. I was calling it a garden center. <laughs> There's not even a garden there. <laughs> I didn't know what to call it because they have the whole fall harvest stuff, but I don't think they actually grow pumpkins. They just have a big fall. I'm pretty sure it's in the name, Gobert's Farm or something like that. Oh, we'll find out. You've been there like five times already. I know, and I keep forgetting every time. There it is. today trying to get her to stand still. Guys, she loves pumpkins. <laughs> she wants to pick everything out. Cam, which one? We can't take all of these home. We also got a pumpkin for the dog. We got a little white one for Donkey. Cause he's a little white dog. Cammy likes that little baby pumpkin. But uh, she wants bigger ones, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's a good one. All I right, like that one. <laughs> We're done getting pumpkins, okay? No, you don't need that. Here. I'll carry this one if you carry that one, okay? Let's go. Bye. She's tired. Yeah. So we are back from Gobert's. Cammy, did you have fun? Cammy loved pumpkins. Did you have fun? I'm going to show you our haul. So we ended up getting the white pumpkin for our dog. Cammy wanted this baby pumpkin and then she grabbed this on her way out. We ended up getting like apple cider donuts. We always love getting that. Really excited to eat that tonight while we watch Haunting of Bly Manor. Now I'm going to be making dinner and I'm going to be making these like turkey cheese zucchini boats. This is what it looks like. It was so delicious when I made it the first time. So it's really quick and easy to make. What I have going is the turkey that I am cooking and then I have tomato sauce heating up over here. I just used 
diced tomatoes that I had left over frozen and then I added tomato paste to thicken it up. And then I have the zucchini cut up over here. I don't know if this will be enough. Um, and then I have like chopped up zucchini that I think what I'm going to use with this is I put in eggs the last time and it tasted really good and then I have my cheese and I'm also watching Great British Bake Off. <laughs> So this is what the zucchini boats look like. I think I should have bought one more zucchini, but they're all filled. Now I'm gonna bake them for about 25 minutes. All right, so I took them out of the oven and they look like these. I was supposed to put cheese on top of them and then I was supposed to broil it, but I didn't have enough cheese to like mix it in. I still think it looks good. The last time that I made these, I felt like it was just way too cheesy. So there's less cheese. So I'm hoping they would taste good. So we finished eating dinner. How was dinner? <laughs> good. And then we finally put Cammy down. She had a bath. Now we are gonna watch The Haunting of Bly. Bly. Is it? No, it is Bly. Bly Manor. Bly Manor. So far, how do you like it? Like, what do you think is better? Yeah. Uh, which one do I think is better? The first season. The first one so far, but I don't know what the story is yet on this one. Yeah. The first one was scarier. First season was by far a lot scarier than this one. This one is not as scary, but I feel like there's more story to it. So, yeah. we're probably going to finish it tomorrow. There's only nine episodes and we're right on episode like five. You can finish it tonight if we stayed up till 12.30. Oh gosh, okay. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. I said it like Cammy. I'm just like, bye. Bye. Bye everyone.